Hello students, today we will start the topic, topic diabetes. We are the one thing that is more important than जो भी आप फिजिक्स में पढ़ते हो उसका मेनली लाइफ में यूज कहा होता है ये हमारे लिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है द सेम थिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू डायमेंशन द सेम क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज डायमेंशन सो फॉर डायमेंशन वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट समथिंग विच वी विच वी हैव रेड अर्लियर द थिंग्स आर वी आर है टू टाइप ऑफ यूनिट्स फर्स्ट इज फंडामेंटल एंड सेकेंड वन इज डेराइव यूनिट्स Here I am assuming that you all knows about these two types of units. First one which fundamental, second one which derived units. Now, first of all, we will read the definition of dimension. That is, dimension is nothing. Dimension is nothing but dimension is a power. Dimension is power raised upon. Raised on base, or you can say fundamental, or base or fundamental quantities to represent to represent a physical quantity. Physical quantity. It means what is dimension? It is only a power. It is only a power to represent a physical quantity. But how we know that? How it works? How we can represent dimension? For this, we have to first of all we have to read about read about the base of fundamental quantities. I am recalling this these quantities base of fundamental quantity. We are having seven base for fundamental quantity. That quantities are if we are measuring mass, mass of a body, then for this you are using unit kilogram, kilogram, and for that you use the symbol kg. If we discuss about the fundamental quantity time, then Unit. What is the unit? Here I am writing unit, and here I am writing seven. Okay. Then for unit we use second, and for this we use directly small x. The third one is length. For meter length we use meter. For this the symbol is small x. The next thing you can use temperature. Temperature for this the scale is Kelvin. For this we use directly capital K. If we discuss about luminous intensity, luminous intensity, it means intensity of light. How luminous that light or not? For this. You use the unit candela, and the symbol is city. The same thing if you measure if you measure what amount of substance amount of substance then you use unit. What is that is mole. I think you all read about mole in earlier classes in chemistry. Okay, then for mole, the symbol is mol. So here I am considering, considering that you all know these values. How much these are? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one is missing here. That is current. Current. For missing current, we use ampere. Ampere and It is represented by capital A. So here seven quantity, which is called base quantities. Now, if we write how we can 
write this both the units, both the base quantities according to dimension, then it should be written for mass, the symbol is capital M, for time, the symbol is P, for length, the symbol is capital L, for temperature, the symbol is capital K. For luminous intensity, the symbol is same, CD. Amount of substance, symbol is same, MOL. And for the current, the symbol is same, that is capital L. So, here, here the units, symbol and the down dimension. How we can write this, all the things according to dimensional equation and according to dimension. Okay. So students, I know uh, something is going upward like which you don't understand or clear not clear. But the thing, when we study it further, next time we have to study it, we will do dimension equation. Now, dimensional equation is what is going on? We will study it and slowly it will be clear. How do you see it? First of all, you have to learn them. Right? जो भी आपके पास में डायमेंशंस के लिए हम यूज करते हैं इसके लिए अलग अलग बेस क्वांटिटीज के लिए जितनी भी डायमेंशंस का हम यूज करते हैं उन डायमेंशंस को आपको लर्न करना है तो आप इसे नोट करके पहले से लर्न कर सकते हो जस्ट उसके बाद में हम यहां पर लिख लेंगे डायमेंशनल इक्वेशन डायमेंशनल इक्वेशन तो क्लास डायमेंशनल इक्वेशन क्या होता है that is an equation obtained an equation an equation obtained obtained by equating an equation obtained by equating physical quantities obtaining ob, uh, obtained by equating physical quantities physical quantities with their with their dimensional formula with their dimensional formula for dimensional equation for Dimensional equations. Okay, students. Now we have the four problems you are facing here. The four problems will clear by this. How? See. Dimensional an equation obtained by equating physical quantities with their dimensional formula for dimensional equation. Earlier in class 9, when you read a physics, then first of all you read the formula. You have read the formula of what? You have read the formula of distance over displacement. For distance, distance is the length. For length, the unit is used meter, and for meter. We use directly small m. For, for small m, we use dimensional value that is l. Same conditions here. I can write distance is equal to me l. So this is a physical quantity. This is the representation of physical quantity in dimensional form. So this both. Or you can say this this whole the equation is called dimensional equation. So we can write distance through L1. Same here, we have to read many other things. If you learn the earlier things, which is I told about dimensions of base quantities, then you can understand these things by this. Like first of all, we have read about distance. We know 
the unit of distance that is meter and for that we are having for meter we are having what l1 l1 is the dimension of distance the same thing if you write a displacement the dis displacement having the same unit that is meter that means dimension is l1 but i if i write the area okay then unit of area is meter square meter square for this we will write here l2 because meter square that for meter we will write l we should write l and for square that is l if we found dimension of volume that is what meter cube okay meter cube means that is l cube because there is cube it is not only used for length it can be used for uh, time it can be used for mass it can be used for amount of substance current everywhere for everywhere how see distance area volume okay then you uh, read about speed okay can you tell me the unit of speed it is easy for everyone that is meter per second for meter we can write l1 but for second because second is downside upon that means we will write here t but that is sign minus two. how we can write meter per second like meter second inverse this is also represented meter per second that means for meter l1 for second that is t minus 1 then again for velocity having the same unit that is meter per second then m f minus 1 is equals to me then what is the dimension of velocity that is l1 t minus 1 so this is the thing here according to dimension the dimension of same speed is ditto same to the dimension of velocity the next if you want to find the dimension of acceleration what acceleration for acceleration the unit is m s minus 2 that is meter per second square for that the dimension is l1 t minus 2 okay because for second that is t minus 2 आई थिंक ये इतना आपको बिल्कुल क्लियर होगा अब हम इसको इसकी जो कॉम्प्लिकेशंस है उनको कंप्यूटरली हम क्या करेंगे इसे और कॉम्प्लेक्स करा एक्सेलरेशन के बारे में आपने 9th क्लास में रीड आउट किया था व्हाट इज दैट इज फोर्स फॉर फोर्स द यूनिट इज डायरेक्टली आई कैन से दैट द यूनिट इज न्यूटन बट इन एसआई यूनिट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू एक्स यूनिट्स वी आर हैविंग द यूनिट केजी मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर How we got this unit? We will be know F is equals to me F for mass. The unit is kg for acceleration. The unit is meter per second square. That's why the unit of force is equals to me kg into me meter per second square. So in that case, if we write the dimension of force, then we are having for kg m1 because kg is mass. For mass, we are having the dimension m1. For meter, it means distance, we are having dimension l1. And for the time, that is upon. That's why we will write here that is t minus two. So the value of force is equal to m1 l1 t minus two. Then again in ninth class, after force, you read about work. Then what is the formula of work done? What is the formula of work done? Work done it means W, and formula is force multiplied by displacement. Okay. Unit of force that is kg meter per second square multiplied by displacement. You can write it to D. 
okay then unit of displacement is meter then multiply by meter then meet that meter is multiplied by this meter then we are having meters square so the dimension formula of water is m1 for kg l2 for meter square and t minus 2 for time the one formula of momentum which have read earlier for momentum what is the formula that is mass multiplied by velocity for mass you are having the formula that is kg and for velocity you are having the formula meter per second so the dimensional formula of momentum is equals to me m1 l1 m1 for kg l1 for meter and t minus 1 for second so here some physical quantities are there and their units are in the second point and further their dimensional formula so like this you can write dimensional formula of every physical quantities which you have read in the physics so we will um, talk about some other physical quantities you can um, write it in your notebook now we are going on some other physical quantities like in that class you have read about current you have read about current for the current what is the unit unit of current is ampere clear and for ampere the dimension formula is a if i discuss about the formula of current that is charge per unit time if i want to find the value of charge from this formula that is equals to me i multiply by a so if i write the another physical quantity that is charge then formula of charge is equals to me current multiplied by time and the unit of current is ampere and unit of time is that is second that why that's why we are writing the dimensional formula of charge is a1 for ampere for second we can write here that is t1 so for charge the formula is a1 t1 okay next you can talk about torque torque i think this is a, that means the formula of torque is equal to force multiplied by perpendicular distance perpendicular distance we all know about the unit of force that is kg meter per second square and perpendicular distance it means we are uh, we can measure the distance having given meter that's why the total unit is kg meter square per second square you can write the formula m1 for kg l2 for meter and t minus 2 for second some other formulas are there some other physical quantities are there like if you talk about the pressure then obviously you all know the formula of pressure is force over my area and the force that is uh, unit is kg meter per second square and for area unit is meter square if you cut out and show this then you are having the answer is kg per meter second square that means the dimensional formula of pressure is m1 for kg l minus 1 for meter and l oh sorry t minus 2 for second okay i will give you some examples and some homework for this but the last thing for last physical quantity is coming in our way after dimension find the value of mass that is gravitational acceleration gravitational acceleration i think you all know the you all know the unit of acceleration is meter per second square 
if we will discuss about gravitational acceleration this quantity having the same unit as acceleration how we can clear like this we don't know about the formula of gravitational force that is m is equals to me m multiplied by g so the value of g is equals to me f by me m that is equals to me the unit of force kg meter per second square clear for mass you can use kg it means the total unit of small g is meter per second square that means the dimension of this l1 t minus 2 now go back and check out the dimension of acceleration both are having the same dimension that is l1 t minus 2 same thing uh, i remember from this formula that is gravitation expression we are having but another physical, physical quantity that is gravitational constant that is capital g when you write the formula of gravitational force that is equal to me g m1 and 2 over r square i think you all know about that okay then when you find the value of g then it is equal to me f multiply me r square over me m1 multiply me m2 in that case unit of force kg meter per second square मैं बहुत इजी लिख पा रहा हूँ कि ए फोर्स का जो यूनिट है वो केजी मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर है, बिकॉज़ मैं इसे बहुत बार यूज़ करता हूँ। जब आप भी फ्रीक्वेंटली या किसे कंटिन्यूअसली यूज़ करोगे, तो ये आपके भी हैबिट में आ जाएगा। दैट मींस फोर्स का यूनिट होता है, दैट इस केजी मीटर पर सेकंड by kg, kg cancel out meter cube meter cube over me second square multiply me kg that means if I write the dimensional formula of this then dimensional formula is L cube for meter cube for time that is t minus 2 and for the weight that is m so you can also define another equation that when we represent a physical quantity in the form or power of n l t then that formula is called dimensional formula of that physical quantity so this is the dimensional formula of the physical quantity gravitational constant Okay students, now we will read about the application of dimensions. It means that dimension is what we can study. This is what we have to study. First, first of all, we have to study the application of dimensions. Now, what is the dimension? Equation is wrong. If any equation 
having some dimensionally uh, having some physical quantity it means uh, an equation is consists of some physical quantity if that equation is dimensionally wrong that means that equation is wrong that's why we can use that that equation is dimensionally correct or not by dimension how let's see for this first of all learn one thing some dimensionless quantities i am writing here dimension less quantities quantities so let's see which quantities are dimensionless first one i think you have you have read about plane angle plane angle so plane angle is dimensionless quantity okay then after this you read about solid angle solid angle is also a dimensionless quantity all the quantities no quantities are dimensionless quantity okay i think you all read about trigonometry trigonometry so all trigonometric functions is like sin cos tan cot tan cot tan all us are all are dimensionless quantity and one more thing exponential things like functions maybe you have read about the functions like e x e e power y e power z this all the quantities are dimensionless quantity you have to learn these things earlier before solving a dimensional dimensional equation how see how we can solve or find that equation is dimensionally correct or no for this we have to think first equation first so i'm writing here an equation which is the equation second equation of motion of your unit only acceleration what is that equation that is s is equals to me ut plus half it is good okay class then for s i see the distance having unit meter for that you can use the dimension that is l it is equals to me then u what is u so u is the initial velocity of that object Initial velocity it means meter per second. For that you can use dimension that is L one t minus one. And for the time you can use the dimension that is t one. Then again plus r uh, dimension of acceleration. What is the unit of acceleration? Meter per second square. Then meter per second square for meter L one for second square t minus one. So the dimension is L one t minus one. And for t square, for t square you are having the dimension t two. The one more thing, all the constants is like k, is like r. Then all the constants are dimensionless. It's like it can be five, it can be four, it can be ninety, any number. The all numbers are dimensionless quantity. Okay, then again. Now l one is equal to me. When you solve out this, then t Having power plus one, t having power minus one. When we sum this one, then the t having power zero. So we can neglect t, we can skip t and write here l one. Then again, plus half having no dimension. Half is a dimensionless quantity having no dimension. Then again, l one, t minus two and t having power plus two. So when we combine the both t's, then we are having that. T power zero. That means we are having here the dimension is L one. So L one is equals to me. L one is equals to me. L one plus L two. See, I am giving you an example. I am giving you five kg sugar. After one hour, I will give you two kg sugar. Then after one hour, can you tell me how much sugar you are having? Then you add like this: five kg plus two kg. That means seven kg. It means five kg 
plus 2 kg is equal to 7 kg. That means when you add 2 magnitudes having 2 same units 5 kg plus 2 kg, 2 values having same units is 5 kg plus 2 kg, then by the sum of the both values you go to only 1. Like this, 5 kg plus 2 kg, it means that is equal to 7 kg. So, meter 5 meter plus 7 meter, that means 5 plus 7, 12 meter. That's why L1 is equal to L1. Now, you can see. L1 is equal to L1, so it is correct. It is dimensionally correct. So, we can say that this equation is dimensionally now the one more and important thing. Student C. If any equation is dimensionally correct, it doesn't mean that that equation is accurate. It doesn't mean that that equation can be used in in your uh, any numerical formula or anything. We are not uh, going here that that equation is correct. We are saying here that that equation is dimensionally correct. आप उसे directly कहीं use नहीं कर सकते वो dimensionally correct है. पर वो बिल्कुल correct है वो हम dimension के through नहीं बता सकते. But one more thing, one more thing is here. If an equation is dimensionally incorrect, then it is hundred percent that that equation is wrong. अगर वो dimensionally incorrect है तो आप उसको कहीं भी नहीं कर सकते वो wrong equation है but अगर वो dimensionally correct है तो ये टूटा means ये भी नहीं है कि आप उस equation को correct prove करेंगे आप यही बोलोगे that that equation is dimensionally correct so we we can uh, like to prove we can check other equations also if you are like uh, if you see here that we have already uh, checked second equation of motion. We can check here any uh, third equation of motion also. That is also what is that equation? V square equals to u square plus 2 here. For that, V square. For V square, you are having the dimension L1 t minus 1 because L1 t minus 1 is used for velocity and square, that means square is equals to me. For you, you can use L1 t minus 1 square, then again plus 2 dimension of k that is L1 t minus 2 and dimension of 2 k s here s equal to the displacement. The direction uh, dimension of displacement is L1. So right now power 2 it means L2 t minus 2. Then again, L2 t minus 2. Then again, 2 is dimensionless quantity. Then L2 because L1, L1, L2 t minus 2. Then L2 t minus 2. So the same thing L2 t minus 2 is equal to me L2 t minus 2. It means this equation is dimensionally correct. So you can check more equations like this. You can check the equation of f is equals to mm. That is also equation f is equals to mm. You can check this. For the force, you can use kg meter per second square. And for kg m1 for meter l1. And second square that is the bone quantity. It means t power minus 2. Is equals to me mass it means m1. And acceleration it means L1 T minus 2. When you saw this, then L1 T1 minus 2 is equal to me M1 L1 T minus 2. What it represents? It represents that this equation is dimensionally correct. Clear? But see the one thing. When I add here what? Mg. F is equals to me M8 plus M3. We all know that F is equals to me M3 is the correct equation. But I add here Mg. It means when I solve out this, then M1 it means for mass, B1 
we write M1 and for gravitational acceleration we also write L1 T minus 2. We found the uh, dimensional formula of gravitational acceleration earlier that it is L1 T minus 2. In that case, that is also M1 L1 T minus 2. Okay? Then again, M1 L1 T minus 2 is equals to me. These both dimensions are same. When dimensions are same, then we can add them and make them only work then m1 l1 t minus 2 so here what we are saying is that this equation is dimensionally correct but you all know as only equals to m1 that means it is more absolutely correct it is only dimensionally correct we can say okay so this equation is also dimensionally correct okay the one thing one equation, one equation, a messy equation we check out here, which correct me, that we all know F is equal to me G M1 and 2 over mass square. We all know about gravitational force. If I remove G from here, okay, then now we are checking that this equation is dimensionally correct or not. Now the dimension of F is equal to me M1 L1 T minus 2. I think uh, if Nipal Magazine I used to be here. Also, we will learn okay, okay. Then again, for mass, kg it means m1. For second mass, kg it means m1. m1 and m1. For distance, that is L2 because it is square. Then again, when you solve the thing, then m1 l1 t minus 2 is equals to me m2 and l minus 2. So, this is not equal to each other. That means this equation is not dimensionally correct. That means this equation is 100% wrong. Clear? Now you all know that what is missing here? Capital G is missing. So by the help of dimensional equation, you can uh, you can check whether the equation is correct or not. Okay? So this is the first application of uh, dimension. So now we will read the second equation, second application of uh, dimension that is reducing duration among physical quantities. We will reduce duration among physical quantities. That is second application. Second, second application. Reducing duration among physical quantity plus in your exam in both cases we see a case we have to ask method 100 percent among physical quantity how we deduce the relation how we deduce the relation so plus uh, method you read Many times uh, your teacher said to you that uh, a physical quantity is depends on this quantity. Just I am saying to you that uh, velocity of an object depends on distance and time. Velocity of an object depends on distance or displacement and time. Then tell me what is the formula? What is the formula of the whole? What is the formula of velocity? How the velocity depends on length and time? So, for this, we can deduce the relation among physical quantity by help of dimension. How? See, velocity v. For v, we all know. First of all, I am writing here that velocity is equals to me. What displacement over time? I know the formula, but I deduce the formula from this. I am writing here velocity depends on distance, velocity depends on time, but I don't know the power of displacement, I don't know the power of time. So here I am writing A and here I am writing that's why I can write velocity is 
depend on d power a and d power b. So I can write that b is equal to me k d a d p power b. When we remove this proportional sign, then we have to put any constant value that is 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, anything. So here I am writing k. Then again, we all know the dimension of velocity is m1, sorry, l1 t minus 1, l1 t minus 1 is equals to me k for dA. The dimension is dimension of distance that is l1 power a. The dimension of time that is t1 power b. Clear? Then again, l1 t minus 1 is equals to me k l power a and t power b. When we compare both, then in that case, the value of a is equals to me 1 and value of b is equals to me minus 1. So, the formula of velocity, the formula of velocity may be according to dimension that may be k d t power a, it means 1 and t t power minus 1. That means b is equal to me k d by b and now if I put the value of k is equal to me 1, then the formula is displacement over the time that we go earlier. That means we can deduce formula from by the help of dimension. Okay, you can check the other questions also that is also uh, written in your book. Like I am taking a question from your book. So, students, I am having 11th NCRT book. Then I am going to solve a numerical, an example. Example number 2.70. Example number 2.70. By this, you can easily understand how you can deduce the formula by the help of dimension. And the question is consider a simple pendulum having a bow attached to a string. A simple pendulum a thread ke through apne kya ke, bow ko attached kya hoga. That oscillate under the action of force of gravity. Who oscillate kar rahe? Suppose that the period of period of oscillation of the simple pendulum depends on its length. First, it is given that time period, the time period depends on its length. Okay, then I write here proportional to length. Then again, it is written that on the length mass of bow and acceleration due to gravity it means three points we face kar that pehla length pe dusra mass pe aur tisra gravitational acceleration gravitational acceleration it is given it is given in the question and what is asked derive the expression for its time period using method of time dimension it is yes, after time period we can find the net formula find. For this here, I am writing that t is proportional to length. t is proportional to mass. Okay? And t is proportional to gravitational acceleration. It means small thing. I don't know the power of these three ones. So I am writing here a, b and c. Then t is directly proportional to L, A, M, B, and G, C. When you remove this proportional sign, then you are having t is equal to me L, A, M, B, and G, C. Now, what is your aim? The, your aim is to find the formula. How you can find the formula? Use dimension of these four physical quantities like for t, for time period you are having the dimension t1 k is a quotient quantity it means it is a dimensionless quantity for length you are having the dimension l1 power a 
for the mass you are having the physical quantity that is m1 power b for gravitational acceleration you are having a physical quantity of uh, the dimension is l1 t minus 2 and power c when you follow this then e1 is equals to me l a m b then again l c then again t minus 2 c because the power is 3 in the inner side the power is minus 2 when you multiply minus 2 to 3 then it is minus 2 c then again here i am writing that t1 is equals to me what is l first of all i am writing m b then i am writing here l a plus c l a plus c then again i am writing here t power minus two c when we compare left hand side to right hand side then we got that value of m in left hand side is equal to zero it means b is equal to me zero Value of L in the right hand side is equal to me 0, it means A plus C is equal to me 0. Value of minus 2C is equal to me 1, that means value of C is equal to me minus 1 by me 2. When minus 2 comes downside to 1, then it is equal to me minus 1 by me 2. So you know the value of C. When you put the value of C here, then you find the value of a, a minus me half is equal to me 0, that means a is equal to me half. And you know the value of b, what is the value of b, that is equal to me 0. So, you can put these values in this formula, that means value of p is equal to me k l power a, and value of a is equal to me, that is half, m power b value of b is equal to me 0 and g power c that means value of g acceleration is equal to me half now if you solve not half that is minus half so i am writing here minus half when you solve this then the formula is k m 0 it means kcb value ka power 0 that means 1 ok t power half l half over me g half it means I am talking about root L over me G. And you are surprised to know that the real formula of time period of the ball is P is equal to me 2 by root L by G. What is the mean of this dimension equation? So by the help of this dimension equation, you can find formula of any physical quantity. If that quantity depends on other physical quantity, then you can find the relation between these all among in all physical quantities. Okay, students. So I'm considering that now you learn all the two applications of dimension. Okay, goodbye.